I did it. I beat Hades today. Kind of. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Thursday. I've taken a few weeks off from doing solo streams because I wanted to focus on working on the vlog. And in fairness, I didn't reduce the number of streams because we started doing Pikmin. So the same number of streams have been on the channel. I just wasn't doing solo streams. But I wanted to get back to it. And I told myself if I could get close enough on catching up on vlogs that I would get back to it. Well, I caught up on the vlogs. I did it. So today, I rewarded myself by playing more Hades. This was my third stream doing Hades. I had done seven runs up to this point, and today, first run of the day, my eighth run, I beat Hades. And I'm putting an asterisk there because people that have played Hades will know that there's there's a lot to the game. The game kind of like continually extends, but I got to like, let's call it the first ending. I'm pretty proud of myself for doing that, for, for, for beating the game on my eighth run. I feel, I feel good. Uh, my weapon of choice was the, was the shield. Um, that was, I fell in love with that the first time I used it, uh, just because it really makes me feel safe to be able to, you know, just hold it and know that, like, I'm not going to take any damage from, you know, the front side of the weapon. And it allows me to be a little bit more methodical in how I play the game, because I can take a second and see what's happening on screen and then make my next move. Playing with the shield doesn't necessitate that you have a defensive style of play, but I definitely did. I don't think I used my special move with the shield the entire run. I just didn't, because the thing that I loved about the shield was the bull rush, where you hold it and then you charge. So like, that's all I did, the whole run. And it worked. I also had a really good run. Like I had some stuff happen early on that was like, oh, that's good. That's a lot of health. Good, that'll be nice. I'll make sure that that's up on the, the VOD channel. So when you watch this video and you're like, oh, I'd like to see the, the VOD, I'll put it in the description so you can go check it out. Uh, but I wanted to talk briefly today about Hades because when I first played it as a first 20 years ago, I really liked it. Hades is just a very polished experience, an extremely polished experience. And that made my time with it, however short during that first 20, very memorable, which is why whenever I started to get back into doing solo streams, that's the game I picked up. So I'd done, I had done two Hades streams prior. Today was my third Hades stream. And, you know, in the grand scheme of, of playing Hades, I haven't put that much time into it. There's people that have put hundreds of hours into this game. I've probably played 10 at most. But I gotta tell you, it is a great video game. It is a very polished experience. It is, um, I would say, doing just about everything right in the genre. And then the thing that elevates Hades specifically, that makes it even more memorable, is that these sorts of video games, it's all about gameplay. It's all about the gameplay loop, right? It's all about doing a run and having it be genuinely fun to do, so you are inspired to do it again and try and get better and better. That part is good. It's very good. The reason that Hades takes it even further is that on top of that, it has a story. And the story is good. The world building, the character, everything, everything is great. And it elevates that experience so much because you're not used to these sorts of games having a story. They really aren't like, a lot of these games, like the story is like a very minor part. And in this game, it's a major part in a way that like you're having fun playing the video game, but you're also like, oh, but I want to like know what happens next. I'm genuinely interested in these characters. I'm genuinely interested in the relationships between the characters. And that is very cool. I don't think I've ever seen another game in this genre that does it as well as Hades because it's, it's hitting all of the necessary gameplay stuff that is so fun and then adding in genuinely good story bits that make you want to play more of the game. It's, it's really incredible. I, I was super impressed with Hades from the moment I played it, and now having done it for three different weeks of streams, what a great game. What a super, super great video game. Now, I was super excited to beat it because I was, I was hoping I would get through it before Starfield came out, and it did, so that's good. Um, there's more Hades to play, obviously, and I may probably, uh, I might play more next week, I don't know, I'll probably pick it up from, from time to time to work on it, but Starfield's coming out in two weeks and that's gonna be 
my new focus for probably, let's say, a while. Um, and I'm excited about it, but I did want to at least take today to talk about Hades because it is great. Good video game. Very good video game. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?